Protein Extraction Proteins are one of the major components in organisms and perform many physiological functions. The first step to prepare proteins for further analysis is to extract proteins into a solution. Natural proteins can be extracted directly from living organisms or viruses. Proteins can also be produced in the lab by genetic engineering. However, eukaryotic proteins are often modified by carbohydrates, lipids, peptides, or other kinds of molecular groups after translation. Therefore, a modified protein synthesized by genetic engineering may have different properties. The distribution, concentration, availability, and stability of the target protein as well as your budget determine the extraction method you choose to use. Different proteins require different conditions to keep them stable. Therefore, it is important to choose the right extraction solution and additives and operate under low temperatures to get the best results. The extraction solution often includes buffers to provide a suitable pH range. Salts like sodium chloride, NaCl, are often included to increase protein solubility. Reducing agents like DTT or 2-ME can help prevent protein oxidation. Some proteins require coenzymes or metal ions like calcium or magnesium ions to keep them active. Cell disruption is required to extract intracellular proteins, but a number of undesirable proteases and enzymes will also be released during this process. Thus, a cocktail of protease inhibitors is also often included into the solution. Metal chelators like EDTA or EGTA can bind to divalent or heavy metal ions to inhibit a range of metallopeptidases and prevent proteolysis reactions. There are many ways to break cells. Mechanical methods include sonication, Blending, beating, grinding with mortar and pestle, and high pressure disruption. Non mechanical methods include desiccation, which involves vacuum drying or freeze drying, followed by dispersing the contents with water. Repeated freeze and thaw cycles can also break cells. Cell membrane proteins can be released by using surfactants or chaotropes. For plant cells, the cell walls can be digested by enzymes, and cells can then be broken by osmotic pressure. Surfactants like Triton X100 have a hydrophilic head and a hydrophobic tail. They bind to the hydrophobic regions on proteins or lipids to disrupt cell membranes and increase protein solubility. Chaotropes weaken the hydrophobic interactions by disrupting the hydrogen bonds between water molecules. As a result, the cell membranes collapse and the solubility of membrane proteins is increased. Exocytosed proteins can be collected directly from body fluid like blood, urine, tissue fluid, or from cell culture medium for further purification. Protein quantitation or electrophoresis can be applied to make sure whether the extraction was successful. Protein activity can also be examined after extraction. When extraction is successful, proteins can then be purified for further analysis. 